Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting, I think this is a sixth painting in my fall series and this time we will be painting C, of course what would be a fall series without the sea also. So some leaves falling on it and some distant mountains. This one is gonna be fun so let's get started. First I did made my sketch on just regular printing paper and then used this graphite paper to trace it onto my watercolor paper. That is how I usually do it. If you watched my videos early you probably already know that. This what I'm using right now is knitted eraser, artist eraser that I am using to remove excess graphite and to lighten my sketch slightly. Also today I will be using this masking fluid to mask leaves because it will make it easier on me to paint it later on but of course if you don't have a masking fluid you can do absolutely without it. Just try to avoid those leaves when painting the sea and you know leaves are gonna be darker so even if you go on it a little bit that would be also fine. And for for adding that masking fluid I'm using just a regular stick. I think that is a grill stick and a lot of you asked me I was using a palette knife told me we don't have a palette knife what else can we use so I am using just a regular grill stick and you can use that also just to show you that it is possible just whatever you like and brush is actually the last thing I would recommend to use because that masking fluid can quite easily ruin your brush. After this masking fluid is completely dry and you saw me tapping on it you you need to have you need to uh, tap on it and if it's not sticky or just leaving anything on your fingers it will be sticky but if there is nothing left on your fingers then it is dry and you can paint. I left it to dry for I think that was just an hour hour and a half and afterwards I've mixed some blue black and brown to get that grayish color and painted in the upper part of the sky and lower part of the sea which I do want to be the darkest. Now I've added just a little bit more of that blue and painted in that lowest part which I do want to be the darkest and as you can see I am leaving this middle part a little bit lighter just to give it some texture and to make it look like it is a water. Then just slightly spreading that paint also in the middle part but just a light light wash. I left it to dry completely and when it did I've mixed some I think this is just some yellow and some ochre color to get that, well I guess an ochre color, yellow, yellowish ochre color to paint in the mountains and as the first layer when I was painting the sky I did not privet this time my paper and I used very light wash. Now I also did not privet the paper, the part where those mountains are because I do want those edges to be harsh so I did not prevent the paper and also later on I will slightly smudge the edges in the water but you'll see that when we get there. So now I'm adding just, I don't know, this is some brownish color. What what color I would, maybe some burnt sienna. Maybe I would, that is the color I would compare it with. It is a burnt sienna and I'm topping here and there adding a little bit more texture to that mountain and since this is a fall painting I do want the fall colors so I am using browns, yellows, reds and of course the sea is I think you know blue and I just added uh, just a little bit of that blue and just a little bit of grayish color to paint in the upper and the lower part because you know also uh, fall is a little bit foggy so that is how I imagine fog and I see fog at just a little bit grayish and right now adding a little bit darker color a little bit darker brown with this smaller brush because I don't want it to bleed so much and I don't want a lot of water in my brush but a little bit more of the pigment so that is why I'm using this smaller brush and adding all those colors I've used a little bit of yellow a little bit of some lighter brown a little bit of darker brown just to paint in the 
just to add some texture to the mountains and here you go right now i'm doing what i was talking about just smudging the edge and the paint is not completely dry i don't want to use a larger brush because i don't want to bleed a lot and that is also the reason why i did not prevent the paper because i didn't, didn't want it to bleed too much into my sea so i did use a little bit smaller brush with a little bit less water just to smudge it slightly and then used a tissue paper to pick up that excess water because if I would leave that water on my paper it would dry and it would leave some ugly line which I don't like so I was using a tissue paper to pick up that water also now I'm adding some white to to the middle part and also to the lines to the lower part where the sea is and I think it gives it the impression that that is some water when you add those lines it does give that impression also adding some darker lines for some shadows maybe in the water and of course the reflection is not completely completely white or completely dark so I'm adding a little bit of white lines and a little bit of darker lines also with that dark brown I'm painting in the horizon line the line between the sea and the mountain and I left it to dry completely and when it dries completely you have to really really left it to dry completely because if you don't you can smudge your paint when you're picking up that masking fluid and right now you can see me quite quite struggling too much with that masking fluid I actually thought I placed a new masking fluid in that container but I did not obviously so I was using an old masking fluid and when you use an old masking fluid you will have a lot of trouble picking it up and and maybe possibly and probably rip your paper so you know if you have an old masking fluid you know maybe maybe not use that or maybe just use it when you're practicing something for practice and not for the painting you want to leave for yourself or consider selling or whatever you know just don't use an old masking fluid because you can quite easily rip your paper and I really had a lot, a lot of oh I really had a hard time picking up that paint and well you know just also rubbed my fingers and when I guess when I removed that masking fluid I moved on to painting the leaves and first I started with yellow I painted a light la layer with yellow and this time I did not, I did prevent the paper where the leaf is and afterwards I'm adding some I guess this is just some earthy red maybe I would say something like English red you know something like that I think the Indian red or English red some earthy red and painting in the leaves and that red I'm adding to the edges of the leaves and a little bit lighter color yellow in the middle part of the of every part of the leaf and then adding some darker brown to those veins and also to the edges of my leaves and I guess in the same way I will be painting all the leaves also I will add just a little bit of white here and there for some highlights especially where those veins are finished with leaves I moved on to painting the shadows beneath them in the water and for that I'm just using black just a regular black no mix of colors just black 
but if you don't want to use black just maybe add a little bit of blue color that you used for the sea and paint in the shadows in that mix of blue and black also i will add just a little bit more darkness to a little bit more pigment or saturation to my sea so those shadows won't stand out so much and the sea won't look as though it, it is just so so still so i will add a little bit more of texture to that and for adding that texture i did not prevent the paper and i'm using quite a dry brush i just i did not rinse it into water just pick up the pigment from my palette and then added it onto onto the paper because i do want that texture and i don't want smoothness in those lines i do want it to be slightly textured and i do want that broken line you know when you're adding when you're doing dry brushing technique and adding it to the paper you get those broken lines and that is actually what i wanted here also and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video i hope you guys like it i hope you like this all fall series and i'm gonna try some of the paintings at least and thank you again so much for watching if you do like this video hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. And if you want to go even a step further, join in my channel. Press that, press that join button next to the subscribe. Listen to the offer and then decide. And also, please, if you do decide to join my channel, please hit the notification. Turn on the notification. Because that is how also you're going to be notified about new videos. And that is also something that I would recommend. If you subscribe to my channel and channel and if you are already subscribed to my channel please please press that notification bell because you know if you don't do that you could easily miss any of my videos because they don't have to show up in your subscriptions list or videos list so just hit that notification bell and make sure you don't miss any of my videos and again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye